Hello, hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Stars with Stasi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is your weekly reading for June 2nd through June 8th, or whenever you come across this message, Virgo, it's meant for you. Now, this is a great week for you because this is a new moon in Gemini happening on June 6th. That's in your 10th house. So that's your career, your public image. You could be in the spotlight this week. You know, you might be getting recognized at work for a job well done. Um, or you might start a new job, take on more responsibility where you are. So let's see how this plays out for you. And also, guys, don't forget to do me a favor. Hit that like button, drop some comments, show some love. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what your sign is. You know, obviously, you're a Virgo somewhere, but is it your rising sign, your sun sign? Do you check out your other placements? Let's see. All right, guys. So I'm going to pull nine cards. What we're going to do is we're going to look at a general message for you, then your finances and relationships, because this is a great week for you, I promise. So here we've got Skybridge, possibility for union already. <laughs> it's already happening. Gemini season's all about that connection, <clears throat> all about meeting people, exploring new ideas, um, and having opportunity through word of mouth, potentially, right? Gemini rules the hands, the lungs, collarbone, throat stop chakra, potentially, right? Depends on how you see it. And so, <clears throat> and also Gemini's about communication and technology. So I foresee like new handheld devices, new uh, technological advances there. So we've got the four of cups. Some of you guys might be thinking about the past kind of sour grapes energy. Interesting. So I'm going to take these the way they came out because they came out with fury. But I've got the four of cups, queen of wands, and this is fire sign energy. So Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. However, because this is your general reading, unless you are specifically dealing with a fire sign, I feel like this is you. This is you getting what it is that you want, being very magnetic, right? People coming out of the woodwork and are attracted to you. Um, quite frankly, there's just something about Gemini season, which has people interacting with people they normally wouldn't, having random conversations, getting into connections that are fun, is the best way to put it. So I've got the Page of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like some of you also might be saving up to go on a quick, it, that's how it's coming through, like a quick vacation, a weekend getaway potentially. Um, but there's something here about having some time to yourself and getting that, like putting together the funds for that and focusing on having just, and because uh, that's what I'm feeling, the Queen of Pentacles, <clears throat> She's very solid. She's abundant. She's calm, right? So that's your energy. But then actually, now that I see it as well, this could be that you are, like I said, you're attracting a fire sign potentially. It's coming through again. So that's the other way. Let's see how it clarifies. So if you are attracting a fire sign, this is interesting because Taurus had a similar energy where there was a page and lover's card at the bottom of the deck. This is a crossroads. So now hold on because Taurus had a similar meaning or a similar reading. Um, <clears throat> so queen of wands is a more mature energy. And then you've got the page, the younger energetics of the wands. And so together side by side, you know, I feel like you're attracting someone who is really youthful, right? Youthful energy. They're either wise beyond their years or it's the other way around. They're very youthful, you know, considering their you know, their age, who knows? So I've got the four of cups with the five of wands, or I'm sorry, the five of swords. So this, this could possibly be some regret over words had, right? So you might've had a tough conversation with someone, um, but it looks like for sure that you were in the right, to be honest, because you see how we've got the five of swords. It's about communication, but it's also about being strategic and how and what you say. So even though maybe you have these feelings like I should have said that differently or I should have done this differently, I think that ultimately your message landed, right? <clears throat> so let's see how that plays out for you. Interesting because the full card and the two of wands comes out. So 
whatever it is, you know, it sounds to me that you are focused on having more fun. You're focused on <clears throat> starting a life that is more adventurous is how it's coming through. So let's check out this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is coming through with the King of Swords. That's, I like that. So where the Queen of Wands is all out there getting all the attention and doing all the things, this is a very intellectual approach, right? So it's kind of like um, this person is able to make a lot of decisions based on having all the information, doing their fact checking. Um, so somebody might be looking into you and, you know, kind of stalking you a little bit, Virgo, it's very possible. Let's see. Yeah, and we've got the Eight of Cups. Look, I'll tell you what, the other thing about Gemini energy is it will have you entertaining relationships, I'm telling you, that you might not have otherwise. So don't be surprised if something comes out of the woodwork literally at work, right? So you meet someone at work or a coworker, you know, office romances, throuples, you know, love triangles, all kinds of things like that happen during this season because people are that full card, right? They're taking a chance. And with that eight of cups here, this is a, this is an energy of, you know, going after what it is that you want, no matter what, even when you don't know the road ahead, even when you don't know the outcome and you're not sure how you're going to get there, it's like you don't care anymore. You give zero Fs, right? Zero fucks. Taurus is, I'm, Virgo is like, I'm going to go for it. And, <clears throat> and this is like, no matter how you get there, you know that it is a path towards adventure and stability. That's actually an energy that both can be true because you can be stable in the sense of your day-to-day, -day, your finances, who and what you are, you know yourself, you have a comfortable environment for yourself, your children, whatever, but that stability allows you to be this explorer of life. And I feel like you're taking that leap and you're going to go look for something different. And that would be if the attracting a fire sign doesn't play out for you, right? Because again, general reading, so a few things are going to come through. But this Eight of Cups is you taking action to pursue something. And I expect this to show up in your finances because of the new moon energy. But if you are looking for advancement, a different type of job or promotion, that is on the horizon for you, for real. All right, so I want to see what's blocking your money mindset. What's the advice for Virgo's money mindset? What do we need to do? This reads, honor your sensitivities. Now, this may not make sense at first, but this, this we were going to tie it in. This says, your sensitivities are a gift. Be proud of who you are. Put your hand over your heart and inwardly say, I embrace my loving heart. Now, you might be thinking, what's that got to do with my finances? Your finances are a mindset. And oftentimes we have to adjust our mindset to, to bring in and attract the abundance that we want. So this is telling me that there is a part of you that has been guarded against being vulnerable with others. There's a part of you that, you know, wants to be more authentic, but you, I feel like you keep finding yourself up against um, challenging situations where you don't feel that you can trust the energy necessarily around you. And I feel like those times are changing. Virgo, I feel like with this eight of cups, you're definitely going towards a more, um, Ace of Swords. So this is a conversation, information, technology. We're going to see what this comes through for you. But um, when it comes to your finances, I'm telling you, I think you're going to be recognized for a job well done. A pay raise is potentially on the horizon before the month is over. One moment. Let me see here. Because the King of Swords also... Judgment card. All right. So a couple of things. Judgment card is about like committing to a plan, stepping all the way into it and literally leaving the, the, the past in the past, the past behind you. Jeez. Are you guys having a tough time getting your words out? Because I am right. So I don't know. Sometimes when I'm reading for a sign, if they are having a difficulty, right, sometimes it expresses itself. It manifests itself. It's Virgo. What's going on? 
let's start over. Judgment card. All right. So this is about you stepping into your true purpose and you see how they are, you know, they're vulnerable. They're coming out of the coffins. They're, you know, up and they're, they're surrendering. So this is like surrender to the path, the path ahead. Interesting. So you've got the Ace of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. So this is like an exciting time for you financially. I feel that you're going to be finding out like different things about your, um, how should I put this? I feel like there's some opportunity here, something that you are unaware of. This Ace of Swords presents to me like an opportunity, like I said, at work, advancement, right? Um, <clears throat> And this is also communication. So let's see how that plays out for you. One second. Over here with this Ace of Wands, I'm picking up for some of you this uh, office romance. So be careful. Unless it's something that you are totally okay with because you know you are going to be transferring, for example, to another department. You might be transferring because of this, to be honest with you. The Magician card shows up again. Wow, guys. So, you know, you're making something happen. I feel like this is you taking control of the wheel and uh, making an application, right? Because Ace of Swords is technology, so you could be applying literally for the job that you want. And I feel like that would be you honoring your, your truth, right? Maybe you stayed in a position longer than you wanted to because you felt it was your obligation for one reason or another. Here we've got the judgment card being clarified by the five of cups. There is some sort of regret here, like feeling like you haven't been, um, fairly treated in your positions in the past and that you've been selling yourself short. And so now it's like, no, you know what? I'm going to take this leap. That's why you have that eight of cups. Four of Swords comes through for the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Taking time to go on a vacation, quite frankly. That's literally how it's coming through um, as far as your finances. I saw that earlier that you were saving to go away. And this is literally like, look, even if it's just a weekend getaway, take it. Because you're not going to have much free time to be honest, moving forward for the rest of this year. And I'm picking that up super strong. So if you have applied for a new position or, you know, you feel like, you know, there's opportunity at work coming for you, maybe take a time out, take a quick, you know, weekend getaway. I would say this month plan for some time for yourself. Cause I do feel that you're going to be recognized for the work that you have done and, and, Additionally to that, if it's not within your current company, something that you've applied for somewhere that you've wanted to go, it's like, I, I feel like a transfer is available. So there's, there's opportunity here for income advancements. That's for sure. All right. And then relationships, this reads covenant sacred contracts, number seven. Wow. So if you're in relationship, this could be taking it to the next level. This could be entering into a marriage contract, right? Or, right, let's see. Well, let's see what it's about. It could be meeting your twin flame, a soulmate. Ten of wands showed up. Interesting. One second. What do we have for Virgo and relationships, please? I saw the queen of swords and we're going to take her. So the queen of swords is air energy, Aquarius energy. Very mental, very cerebral. And we saw the King of Swords up here earlier. Some of you might be um, entering or ending a contract with a partner um, that you've had a long-term relationship with because that is a divine counterpart. And with the King and Queen of Swords, they're not necessarily my favorite together because it's all business, right? It's like that loving, I just heard that song, oh, you know, I've lost that love and feeling. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't believe I just sang that. Forgive me, Virgo. Okay, they come through. But <clears throat> it's like you've lost that feeling for someone. You had a contract with them. This this uh, queen of swords, she, she will cut the bullshit. She doesn't want to hear it. Like you've got to be uh, authentic or else there's no patience for it. And that's how I feel you are expressing yourself. It's like be authentic or don't come at all. And <clears throat> you're being very clear about that this week. I've got the emperor coming through Aries energy. I still feel like some of you might be meeting someone at work or through a connection at work. That's another possibility because, <clears throat> excuse me, Aries comes through as a, uh, 
you know, a, a business owner, entrepreneur, something at work. I've got the three of cups here as well. And that's celebration, getting out with others. So let's see how that clarifies if we can't tie that all in. Better days ahead with the four of wands. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So again, because it's a general reading, this is like better days ahead when it comes to a marriage, a partnership, a committed relationship. Good. Okay. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Let's clarify these. That was a lot. So I'm going to take this. This is the Nine of Cups clarifying the Queen of Swords. I feel that you, because you cut some things out of your life, you have more independence. This nine of cups is fulfillment, independence, happiness, right? This is like living your best single summer life, right? <laughs> What's that called? Like hot girl summer? I don't know. You don't have to be a girl, but you know that that you get your groove back, you do your thing, you get out there. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> That's what, I mean. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that, you know, Stella got a groove back. You're deciding to get back out there and do it. I'm telling you, this vacation might be where you get it. All right. The hanged man is coming through with the emperor. This is like taking another look at something. You know, <clears throat> I got to be honest with you. I don't know who this emperor is for you, but I will say this. Two things are coming through. That work romance I keep talking about. It's some kind of taboo romance. Can I just say that? And I say work because this person comes across as a very strong managerial business entrepreneur type person. But, you know, it might even be that you're the, the top dog in this card, right? However, the hanged man is saying, look, you, you've got to make some changes and some choices here. You got to look at this a little bit differently. You're going to have to sacrifice something to get what it is that you want. So you met someone at work. Well, then maybe you have to sacrifice the position of your job so that the two of you can have this relationship or vice versa, you know, um, or <clears throat> I mean, that's, that's really how it's coming through. Or if you're attracting an Aries, right, this would be like maybe, um, take some time to get to know this person potentially. Interesting. <clears throat> Why the three of cups for Virgo, please? Three of cups with the chariot card. So something's coming in for you really quickly. And this three of cups, I got to tell you, this might be a friend. There's something here about someone that you know, someone coming towards you and wanting more from you. And I feel like they are definitely... Um, I don't know, going for the gold. That's how I heard it. And also this is cancer energy. So you've got an Aries showing up. You've got cancer showing up. It's a general reading. It could be anybody. You got Aquarius. You got everybody here. But let's just say you're online dating. You're attracting multiple suitors. And of these suitors, there might be one that maybe is... Um, has a, a more dominant personality. And this is just saying, you know, you might want to take a second look at this one and see how that's going to pan out for you. And, you know, you could be attracting a cancer that turns out to be more friend vibes. But at the end of the day, this is what your message is this week. You've got the possibility for union. That's how it starts off. And with this eight of cups here, you're going for the gold. You're taking your chances. You've done some research. You know what it is that you want to do with yourself. You want to make some changes financially. And I feel like you're going to have some um, new information come your way, whether it be a job offer, if you've recently applied for something, or it's going to be job well done, pay increase, something like that. Also this week, it's a good time to plan to get away for a little bit, even if it's just a weekend, a staycation. You're going to be very, very busy the months leading towards end of year. Specifically, August I see as a very exhaustive time, but still fun. And that's part of it. You'll be having a lot of fun, but you're going to be very, very busy. And I feel like I just heard like getting your certifications, whatever that means. We'll see as the months progress. Also in terms of relationships, I feel like you've been through a thing or two, right? And now you want to approach the next one, maybe a little bit with more caution. That's how I would say. Definitely, if you're online dating, you're going to attract multiple suitors. And I do feel like this weekend's going to bring about a possibility for a strong connection with someone in a physical capacity. Um, there is the possibility also for a more emotional, romantic connection, but I do get the energy that they're two separate people. So 
Take that how it resonates, guys. I wish you all the best. Let's see what your shadow work is this week. This is going to be about the polarities of an energy, right? So examining both sides of the coin. I picked this deck because of Gemini. So let's see how this goes. Virgo, here we've got planning versus destiny. Fascinating. Yeah, I mean, look, this is always the million dollar question. Do I have choice? Is it faded? What am I even doing here? So from my perspective, I'd like to share with you the way it comes through in my downloads. We are in a divine matrix. And in that matrix, there are intersections of truth, intersections of fate. Some things are faded. The stars align and boom. There are connections that are faded. There are things in terms of your job, your money, bankruptcies, marriages, those types of things. Those are pretty much faded, faded events. However, your response, what you do with those lessons, whether you live them multiple times or not, that's within your control, right? It's a choose your own adventure. So there are things that you should plan for, that you need to be prepared, plan A, plan B, right? But there's also times you just need to go with the flow because there are events that are gonna take place regardless. So the best way to handle this energy is just to sit in a position of the observer and try to juice every experience you have for all that you can and try to see everything from multiple perspectives because quite frankly, that will get you out of a loop and it'll bring you enjoyment in the process of the evolution of it all. All right, so now let's look at your card here. What can Virgo manifest this week? Okay. Let's see, Virgo. This reads, I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in love of the universe. Pretty simple, right? Put yourself in a vibration and a frequency of gratitude, love, acceptance, adventure, desire, sex, right? Do something that's going to wake up all parts of you. Rest as well, right? Enjoy yourself. Rest can be enjoyment. It could just be Netflix, no chill. It can be all the things that you want, but that's up to you. As long as it's intentional and you do it with the purpose of bringing fulfillment and ease, right, into your life, then that's rest, truly. So again, because resting from the, the heavy vibrations is important and sometimes you need to bring yourself into the, you know, high vibes, the fun, doing it all. So again, you let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day. That's like confidence within you. And you strengthen yourself in the faith of love in the universe. Virgo, I love that for you. Remember that we are all stars in the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can with the information that we have. So be kind to yourselves and each other. Don't forget to drop some comments below. Let me know where you're from. Show some love. I respond to each and every one of them. And until next time, Virgo, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Have a great week ahead and enjoy your new moon in Gemini. Shine brightly.